I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Android Studio Flamingo has been released to the stable channel, including improvements to help you build pixel-perfect UI with LiveEdit, previews of themed app icons and dynamic color, updates to app quality insights, network inspector traffic interception, auto-connect to foreground process and layout inspector, build analyzer task categorization, lint support for SDK extensions, the IntelliJ Platform 2022.2 update, and more. In the world of Google Cloud, we announced the Google Cloud Security AI Workbench, an extensible platform powered by SecPalm, a security model that incorporates Google's visibility into the threat landscape and Mandiant's frontline intelligence on vulnerabilities, malware, threat indicators, and behavioral threat actor profiles. We announced general availability of Cloud Run jobs and the Cloud Run second generation execution environment, allowing many tasks to be done serverless, such as batch data transformations, database migrations, nightly reports, run to completion jobs, and even accessing network file systems. Finally, applications are now open for the inaugural North American Google for Startups Accelerator Cloud Cohort, a 10-week virtual accelerator that will help 8 to 12 startups prepare for the next phase of their growth journey. Over in AI, we described Visual Blocks for ML, a visual programming platform for rapid and iterative development of end-to-end -end ML based multimedia applications that provides a no-code graph building experience through its node graph editor. You can create and connect different components, nodes, to rapidly build an ML pipeline and see the results in real time without writing any code. You can sign up to be notified when Visual Blocks for ML is publicly available. Chrome detailed how they're making Chrome faster by improved HTML parsing, optimizing specific features, more efficient pointer compression and allocations in V8 and OilPan, a garbage collector for DOM objects, and a version of Chrome for Android for high-end devices that is tuned for speed rather than binary size. Angular made server-side rendering a top priority in 2023, and the V16 release of Angular, now in developer preview, offers full application non-destructive hydration, along with updates to HTTP client to cache requests made on the server. This helps to address flicker that occurs between the time the page is rendered and when the page is ready for user interaction. OpenSSF, the Open Source Security Foundation, announced the release of SLSA v1.0, a framework that helps secure the software supply chain. Beyond contributing to SLSA, we've also been laying the foundation to integrate supply chain solutions directly into the ecosystems and platforms used to create open source projects, with the goal of making supply chain security invisible and available to everyone, built directly into each ecosystem for frictionless adoption. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Android Studio Flamingo has been released to the stable channel, including improvements to help you build Pixel Perfect UI with LiveEdit, previews of themed app icons on dynamic color, updates to app quality insights, network inspector, traffic interception, auto connect to foreground process and layout inspector, build analyzer, task categorization, lint support for SDK extensions, the IntelliJ Platform 2022.2 update, and more.